Hello, MechWarriors! How's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Bushwhacker today. I wanted to play something that I like, and I like bullets. Therefore, we're gonna play the good old Rotary Auto Cannon 2 Bushwhacker and give it a little bit of flavor today with an AMS. Yeah, we got some defense today because, you know, when I was recording this video, there was, a, there was an event going on, lots of missile damage had to be done, and why not take an AMS for a bit of self-defense in that point? We take three Rotary Auto Cannon 2s on this beautiful Bushwhacker. Waka X1 here. Cool thing about this here is when you take a look at the camo, you can see two of the racks are in the nose, which kind of gives them a little tusk, which is absolutely awesome in terms of visuals. And then we have this one very high mounted, which we can use to peek and suppress enemies while we are kind of trying to reposition ourselves and being in the low ground still. So that's really nice. We can fire all of them together. We have enough ammo for most games. We are running an XL, yes, an XL engine here because this mech has so much armor quirks that it can definitely run the XL engine. Also, when you look at the mech from the front, you can see that the torso portion of this is very narrow. Cut off the arm here and you can see this is the amount of of uh, exposure that we have when we are facing our enemies and that's what the mech what makes the mech so great because we can just completely blind them with our bullets and th when they are trying to retaliate they are not really able to hit the torso so much which is again super cool we can strip down the arms completely we don't need them we can uh, just use the uh, the weight that we get out of the armor plates that we are not having here to put additional ammo into this and it's just a beautiful mech guys if you haven't tried it yet Get a Bushwhacker X1 and uh, give it a spin. It's it's really awesome. We also got some skills, so let's talk about them real quick. And as you can see, let's go off here. Um, you, we, I have invested into magazine capacity 1 and 2, so we have enough bullets for the late game. We have the UAC jam duration slash the rack jam ramp down duration, so that when we are at our maximum jam gauge, um, it will ramp down quicker. So whenever we take a bit of a cooldown period, uh, our racks will be operable in a, in a quicker period of time. We also got velocity because I like velocity especially when fighting at mid-range so we don't have to lead our shots so much when it's shooting at moving targets. It's a bit easier to adjust there and then heat gen as much as possible on the way down because heat gen is what uh, helps you keeping sustained fire on your enemies. Quick note here. The cooldown doesn't help you at all with Rux. So skip every cooldown node that you can, unless you really have to take it because you've got to go down to another, um, you know, another, another node that you need. So those cooldown nodes do nothing for us. Absolutely nothing, sadly. But anyway, we got maximum skeletal density. We got maximum armor hardening since we are running XL. We need every point of, uh, yeah, every hit point that we can get on the mech. I'm also taking AMS overload one and two here since we are running an AMS. So that's helpful. Shooting down more missiles quicker and then the rest is uh, just radar deprivation, seismic sensor, as well as double cool shot, as well as double artillery strike today and that's the build everybody. Wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now and if you have that as always don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and really I mean it, click that subscribe button, click the bell if you want to get the notifications and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day, we are playing the Rubelite Oasis, we are playing Assault which means we're gonna kill everybody, nobody plays Assault on this map. Nobody. So, uh, instead, we're gonna go up on the high ground, we're gonna see if we can find some enemies, and we have a range of 650 meters, which is quite sizable. That means we can shoot them across the map if we want to. We're not really, uh, really dealing optimal damage. We are not really, we are not really dealing optimal damage at that range, but we are dealing damage nonetheless. And that is gonna be great. So, let's go over, oh crap, let's go over here. Dodged the PPC, retaliated, and we didn't take damage, but we dealt some. That's great. I love it. What about that guy? 800 meters, huh? Oh, get duckered. Alright, so I think this is enough. Or is it? We can still shoot somebody. And again, 800 meters is kind of half damage that we are dealing here. And we still didn't take a single point of damage. Oh, those guys. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Get rocked, baby. I am out of here. I gotta dodge down. Uh, enemies are on our tail, Delta, Delta 6. And I need to go somewhere. This is a mad cat. Did, did we hit this guy already? Oh no. Oh no. This is a mistake. Is it? Is it though? I don't know. He cannot go anywhere. By the way. Um, I can also not really go anywhere. Uh, and right now, again, I'm trying to not really take damage, but also deal damage. God, this mad cat is a problem. It's a big problem, but we got some friends here now. Okay, on the high ground. Oh no, on the Mad Cat. On the Mad Cat. 100% on the Mad Cat. And I also dropped artillery on him. Mad Cat is one shot. Charlie, center torso is open. 
All right, so we're gonna push that guy. Definitely. That's a, that's a very good kill. That is an amazingly good kill. Problem is the high ground rifleman there. Right, so here we go. No, not quite. Not quite. Now we go. Yeah, we got him. Fine. So, that is one kill. What are we doing again? It's the rifleman. I really didn't want to block there. But I want to keep pushing. I want to keep shooting and I want to keep dealing damage. That's a kid, Fox. We're going to take that guy as well. And now it's time to ungem the rocks. Let's ramp him down and get up again. Especially on the kid, Fox. Or whatever that is in there. Oh, that's a... Mm -hmm. Okay. An assassin. Rifleman, good target. We knew that we have softened him up earlier, but now we are basically completely jammed. But it doesn't matter because... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The enemy is dead. That's what I wanted to say. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Get him! Mm, yeah, the damage! Uh, also, enemies behind us. Okay, 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 okay. That's a lot of stuff happening here. I'm gonna try to take the Kid Fox and then the Hellbringer. Side also, please. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Where did the guy go? There was a guy. There's the guy. Hey, Flea. Hello. I know that somebody is behind me, but right now I have some shots at you and I'm gonna take them. Alright, and then I'm turning around to deal with whatever is shooting us in the butt. Right, four and five and zero. Sorry. Five and zero. That's a good target. I'm gonna take that Vulcan. Uh, Alphia, actually. Why did I say Vulcan? I don't know. Uh-oh. Um, rock it up, baby! Right. Right, right, right. Bigger target first, and then the flea. On the Arctic Wolf. Oh, I love this mess. It's so messy. But it's good. It's great. 9 and 2. Looking strong. Looking great. <laughs> Holy crap. I thought, by the way, that I dropped an artillery strike earlier, which I did not do because uh, somebody else was taking it already when I was pressing that button. Uh, what's going on there? There was a UAV, so somebody died there. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, come on. Come on. Get pushed out, please. Get pushed back. Are you? I don't know. I mean, is that the last guy? No. It's not the last guy. But it is a guy that we can shoot with the Ducker. Oh boy, I love this build. It is so fun to play. Oh, sorry for the team, da team damage. Come back, mister. Ah, what's friend? What's foe? I don't know. Oh, it's all so messy here. Oh god. Oh god, did you see the ragdoll? He was hit so hard that he jumped forward when that happened. All right, so last two guys actually i do believe the flea is still alive so he should be somewhere in the proximity trying to lurking in the shadows and uh kind of waiting for his opportunity at least that's what i would do yeah see that there was a uav coming up from the bottom into the top so let's drop and uh, see what we can do here no wait no it just popped up on my radar i just happened to see it that's it it wasn't just uh put up there no but still what, what is going on here we are still two enemies um we have two, still two enemies alive where did they go oh you gotta shut down Meg. i hate that dude seriously fight till the end don't try to preserve any kill death ratio what good is it for seriously so assassin is there he's fighting still i believe um annihilator is at 73 percent we're gonna check it out if he's losing um if he's losing armor then the assassin is still there but he's not so did he just disengage? Did he just bail? Okay, that's not an enemy anymore. Huh. I don't know. I only have 126 shots left. I just realized that is crazy. Okay. I'm almost out of ammo. Who's shooting here? From the bottom? From the top? What? <laughs> that's you, buddy. <laughs> I was like, what? Wait, who? No. Um, anyway, we're gonna just cap the thing and then we're gonna go home. So, two people who didn't really want to fight it to the end, and that's fair. Alright, let's take a look and see uh, what we did here. We still have almost all of our AMS ammo though, so our aim is what not really helpful in this fight, particularly. But we got two killing blows, eight assists, we got two KMDD, 700 damage done, 280 taken, 33 team damage, and eight components destroyed. Wait a second, give me one moment, 29 missiles destroyed. That's what I wanted to see. That's the first game, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down.
Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Frozen City Classic. It is a hell of a bad side here. So we're gonna go for Heat Vision because it really helps us. And uh, man, I really wish the old Heat Vision would be back. You know, the good old Predator Vision. Oh man, those were the days. Uh, we didn't know anything about this game and we were just, you know, just rushing to the front line and brawling. And that's kind of what we do today. So let's get back into the fight here. We're gonna move over to the Charlie 4 area because enemies will be in Bravo 3. And that's basically it. So that's, that's what we do. We're gonna fight everybody that we can see. We hopefully get some artillery out. And um, that's the basic battle plan. Charlie 3 is a hotspot, as you might tell. Yes, yeah, so a wolf hunt already. All right. Uh, we're gonna also watch this here. Okay. Gotta be a bit careful, though. There are people now. All right. I'm gonna drop Adi as soon as it's ready. Hey, Arctic Wolf. Yeah, hold, 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 hold. Hold. Don't rotate right. Hold. All right. I, I have to ramp up the rocks, and I'm gonna try to drop Adi. And I did. All right. So, on the Nigea Echo. Oh, it would be so good if we could just hold this here because now more people are running into my artillery strike, which is coming down right now. Funnily enough, it didn't really hit that much. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, here we go. Another Arty strike. Oh, coming out from somebody else. Not from me. Uh, and there, there are people behind us. But you know what? I'm going to hold this here so my people have enough time to deal with what's behind them. Oh, assault max, always good guys, always good because big targets and usually very slow. Um, but yeah, it seems like my enemies are trying to get out of the situation now, they are trying to push it. So that means we're gonna go in their flanks and prevent them from doing so. That's exactly it. Oh! What was that? What? Why did Chad come up? Holy crap, man! In the middle of the fight! I didn't press any button! There's like four of them here. Alright, let's go for the night here. Um, is he killable? I think so. Yeah, he is. He's probably killable. But yeah, people are people are running away. Our base is being captured. <laughs> that means we got to do something now. So here is a uh, the other Niger. We're gonna try to contest him now by just pushing him. We have to wrap it around now. They know that we are coming because they got uh, a UAV up. But that guy doesn't care. And he, if he doesn't care, and I don't care. Uh, assault Max still. Careful though. All right, let's go. On the Viper, lots of damage there. There's more, there's way more. Still wanna try to stay on the Viper, maybe we can even get the kill. So if not, then we're gonna adjust here, getting the Night Gear. Another Gear, so many of those. Actually, we should stay on the legs. All right, got him, in the end. Hello, Sun Spider. Uh, you have a Wolfhound on your tail, but I cannot really help you out because I am currently jammed. All right, also legs, big time here. Only legs and legs alone. And that is how we get him. So he's not gonna run anymore. He's gonna just rack it up. The side torso about to die. If torsos can die, you know? That's what I'm saying here. And uh, again, we gotta unjam and then we're gonna help out at the base. Uh, we need so many more people at the base, guys. Mm, what about the rifleman? He's just there. We really gotta contest that base. And this is how we do it. I cannot really do much. I gotta go to base now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We are about to lose this. Oh no, oh no. Just need to deal a little bit of damage there. Ah! What is it? Oh, he's fresh. He's so fresh. We need more pressure on the base, guys. He's about to win this. Not if he's pushing out. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They are in my tail, on my tail, actually. Guys, base, please, now. I can only hold it for so long. That is it. Oh no, they're gonna win this because they got the base. The pressure was real. The other guys were so hung up in the fight with the Black Lanterns and we couldn't get it done. However, guys, we dealt so much damage over the course of this. And honestly, I wasn't done yet. I mean, I was dead, but I was not done fighting yet. We got, sadly, zero killing blows, but we assisted a lot. We got, you know, four assists. It wasn't really that many kills on the board anyway. Two kill most damage dealt, though. That's 733 damage done, 300 taken, and uh, three components destroyed. That was a tight game, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.